have come so far since we first started on this house. I mean, virtually the entire footprint has changed from the original outlay, which is really quite amazing when you think about it. I mean, right now we're standing in the kitchen. It wasn't the kitchen before, but it's now the kitchen. And what was the kitchen is now the pantry, and what was the entrance is now the laundry changes everywhere which is great and everything's working out really well we've got our new powder room and the bathroom all fitted out and that was easy but I tell you what isn't easy and that is how we want to put an ensuite on where our master bedroom is and the reason for that is there is a concrete slab here now this is a problem that we came up against in the last series of the home team and it's actually a problem that a lot of houses of this era come up against now when you're actually having to cut into a concrete slab to put all of your plumbing in it is expensive it is messy it is time consuming it's a real headache and it really is one that you want to avoid if you can. I mean, most of the time people would just completely change the whole area and do it somewhere else. But I am not willing to sacrifice an ensuite on this magnificent bedroom that it will be. So I've done my homework and I think I've come up with a really good solution. Mm, now Greg here is roughing in the solution that is going to stop us from having to dig into this concrete slab and make an absolute mess and possibly just a whole lot of money as well. How's this working out? It's going well, Leah. This right. is the sani pack. This is one of our full bathroom units. This will take a toilet, basin, shower and even a bath if you need to. Okay, so this is basically facilitating all of the waste from every system in here, from the vanity, from the shower outlet and from the toilet. That's right. It takes all the fixtures and processes it cool. and then pumps it out through this small diameter pump line. Okay, and then where does it go? Well, from there, we pump it up into yep. the ceiling space. Right, so it's going With our up. pump line. That's right. Defying it gravity. That's it. Defying gravity. It pumps it up into the ceiling space and then grades away until it gets to the nearest drainage point. So it's defying gravity going up through that very thin tube. That's right. And that's all the waste from here. Okay, that's I've, all the waste. I've got questions. Okay. I really do. Right. Um, the toilet. Mm -hmm. What leaves the pan goes into this system and needs to defy gravity to get up there. How does that that's, work? Okay, you got a blender at home? Yeah, you I do. Yeah, yeah, very, that's very exactly well. exactly how this works. It just... <laughs> it chops it all up and then pumps it up this small <laughs> diameter pipe and then through the ceiling and then into the nearest range. Oh my gosh! All of that water going through this very small pack. Mm. It's hard to believe, that's why I, I keep asking, I know, it's you know. Incredible. It's it gets chopped up, moved, any matter that is in there, chopped up, pumped up through defying gravity, up through that, and then into the tube, into the nearest outlet. That's exactly right. Yep. What an ingenious system. Uh, incredible. And it completely saves you from having to cut into concrete. It does. And that can be really costly. Well, and, it just and liberates too. your choices, doesn't it? It, does. it goes from being where you have to have a bathroom mm. to where you want to have a bathroom. That's right. You, you can liberate your loo. Liberate your loo. Right. I like that. The quicker I get it done, the quicker you can get your plasterboard on. I'm going to go get the plasterboard. And I'll That's finish my this, job. Okay? All right.